We're coming to you live from Detroit Rock City at Gord Field, where it's an absolute free-for-all. The stakes are high, and so am I. It's in the air tonight, Grim. Both teams hit the field, ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. Terror Bay Mutineers take on the Motor City Maniacs. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. I Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, well, that's good. But I flunked my mental. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. Better odds than I get in Vegas. Get a point. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day, because he's the one who just got wiped out. the pass, but then a slap in the face by the defense. Ah, oh, that's me in the hotel bar every night. Hey, your opening line needs work. Why? Really? What's a pretty girl like you doing here all by herself? Are you a hooker? Well, it's a fair question. Oh, and he intercepts the ball. Thank you very much, says the Oh, great tackle. When his brain is... Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed and the QB might as well just bury himself now. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks, because that was a Sonic Blast dirty trick. That ball, boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham and sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, yeah, still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. <laughs> says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Didn't see it. At least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Second down in a very lot. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's warming down. The offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. We need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. And it's first and ten. catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. And the defense 
control is a thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's gotta hurt. Gotta make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. And it's first and ten. Stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Second down and ten. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick and throw. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! <laughs> Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Picks up two yards on the pass. Then this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Well, seriously, man, you think you'd go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Sing his prayers. Oh. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm print. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. Nice catch. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I'm off. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And it's first and ten. Excuses for this. Kenny breaks away. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? The team getting penalized needs to go into their dirty tricks and attack the ref. Come on, guys, get with it. Attack him and kill him. Jeez. And it's first and goal. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. First and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. And that'll bring up second and one. And he punched his way out of that tackle. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot.
unstoppable force meets the exploded object. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? First and ten. see how this goes. But I'm surprised no one uses the <laughs> Running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with 
that QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! First down and five. Quarterback passes for a touchdown! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. run for a first down. And it's first and ten. You know, all the guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and the offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. Second and three. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. You know, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole! Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. a high arcing rainbow. They let the punt drop and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he'd probably have an interception. And like bricks and bottles, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. First down and three. Second and eight to go. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. The offense has no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. Third down and, well, good luck. For six, touchdown, touchdown. Yeah, man, he's got you know now. Don't want to.
to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Oh, did he take a punishing hit? You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Yeah, the waitress at the Boo Hooters chicken wings last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then the police horse is out front in the stadium earlier. It was just a joke slam, but the horse took it seriously. Not surprised. And that's a run for no gain. Third down and a pussy here. your first hit. A lack of blood, everyone having all their limbs. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is at palm cream. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good return here. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. And it's first and ten. Went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. And it's first and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed a beat for Brave Man with a ball and didn't fall down. Coda told me, I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. If you can't get the sack, that's the next best thing. Second down and ten. Oh, a great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Third down and ten. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. So here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah, 
Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do, well, maybe actually shouldn't. Don't you just love the sound of bones stamping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh man, Brooks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. Hey man, nobody can touch you with that ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, the offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. He might consider running the ball more. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Nicely done for a first down. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and he held on to that one for a first down. No guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, then I'm going to a strip tea show. Where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. With a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, you knew you were going to 
see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Second and three.